Super easy shiny monkey and char cadet. Let's go! What's up YouTube? My name is Miklosh and welcome to my channel. In today's video guys, we're gonna show you how to get pretty easily shiny Mankey and shiny Charkadet. And uh, pretty much as we showcase in our previous video, you're gonna be standing in just one spot and uh, do the picnic resets. But before we do that, please, please, please consider subscribing to the channel as it helps a lot to reach even more people and let them know how to get easy shinies. So thank you, thank you very much. All the credits for this method again go to Sukuruto Games. So like we said, it is the same location for Charkadet and the uh, uh, Mankey and on the map uh, for the reference is somewhere actually near the uh, bird titan as well as the uh, Shrine here. I'm going to show you how to easily get there and for that of course We're gonna be flying to the west province area one Once we go there, we're gonna be jumping on our ride and drive there Like I said, it's the same spot for the uh, Mankey and Charka that which is actually great. Mankey uh, can evolve into the super awesome new Pokemon uh, Annihilap and uh, Charkadet, based on the version you're playing, uh, is gonna be the Cerulege and Armorouge. So once we are near the location of the Flying Titan, we're gonna still go a little bit up here and then take a turn on the left so we can jump and yeah it's a little bit here left and the location is gonna be here nearby just uh, fall down well basically we are searching for this windmill where the uh, wild terra jolteon is and now i'm pretty sure you might you know come to this place some other way but yeah we we're gonna be uh, do it like this we bong and once we are at the desired location for the reference this is the place exact place on the map we need to take down that wild terra jolteon unfortunately bonk Once we have taken down Jolteon, that's it. We are ready to go. The next thing is, of course, find the best spot for the camps and the resets. And it's going to be a little bit here behind the windmill and the rock there. And also on the side, because once we do the uh, monkey hunt, which requires a fighting uh, sandwich, we want to get rid of the Makuhita spawn on the uh, left. You just want to make sure that you are able to do a picnic. And before starting, of course, as always, make sure you save the game, because... You might not get a shiny within uh, the first sandwich, so you want to preserve your ingredients by saving the game and then reloading to this spot. Okay, let's set up the picnic. For this sandwich, we need the ingredients for the fighting, fighting sandwich. Let's see. It is one pickle and herbub. I don't know what's up with the game, it's it's literally flickering here. Wait, that's actually the shadow of uh, the windmill. Nice. Feel free to use other ingredients if you wanna. All we wanna have is the same effect, basically sparkling power, encounter power, and title power level 3 sandwich. All the links for the recipes for the uh, sparkling sandwiches from Papa Hefe is in the links in the description below. Um, if you don't want to commit the herba, if you feel lucky and do have a uh, shiny charm, then you can use only sandwiches that are giving you encounter power level 2 for fighting and you can go with that. 
All right, our sandwich is ready. Sparkling power, title power, and counter power fi fighting. Let's go. Now, all we want to do is just uh, take a look at the mankeys and uh, hope for the shiny one. As you can see, there's one, there's the second one. So they're basically gonna pop from that place. Sometimes in packs, sometimes one by one. It also, like I said, depends if you are standing on the right spot. So if you're not getting a lot of spawns, you can go a little bit left, right, you know, forward, backwards until you get some decent spawns. And that is that. Once again, behind the rock, behind the windmill, on the side because we want to avoid the Makuhita spawns. Now there is also uh, another thing you can do here to see it more clearly if uh, there is a mint greenish shiny manky. So all you need to do is press down on your uh, D-pad on the controller, so the cross right, and you activate the camera. After that, you can also press right on the D-pad to zoom more in, but, you know, not, not needed. So, there is no shiny. Like I said, we're just panning the camera uh, left and right, and that's that. We're not moving, setting up another picnic, and resetting. That's all we need to do until there is a shiny Menke. You can also count all the spawns like i said with the encounter power up uh, you should be getting 15 spawns ah, there's our shiny let's go let's catch him funk <laughs> For our Charker Dead Hunt, of course, we're gonna be using different ingredients as we wanna have that fire encounter power and uh, maybe also sparkling, you know, depends if you wanna do that. So for that, we're gonna use a basil and two times herba. Uh, yep, definitely gonna be spitting fire. All right, now Charker Dead is, uh, of course, a little bit trickier or should i say way trickier since the shiny is a little bit sus the only difference are the blue eyes that's why i've been calling it blue eye red cadet the good thing is though here at this place again they'll be spawning facing in front like facing you so you will be able to see the eyes right away now not all the time of course sometimes they'll be spawning behind the front one and so on but most of the time let's say you will be able to see the eyes which is the only thing that is going to show you if it's a shiny or not yeah at least you can count them because they're not spawning in clusters as the main keys so one two three four five six yeah they're spawning one by one facing in front so that is good like so uh show uh it's dork getting dork come on let me see your eyes there's the shiny blue eyed red cadet let's go <laughs> Yay! Critical catch. <laughs> and that's gonna be that for today's video. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel, drop a like, turn on the notification, and as always, thank you for watching and uh, happy gaming.